1995, families from Grazera colony moved to a small farm about 8 km south from Minnedoza, Manitoba. Instead of going in the direction that most colonies did with livestock at the time, the Brethren of Odana made a unanimous decision to invest in custom fabrication. In the beginning, the fabrication was in a small shop, but they were in need of a bigger area, and so in 2001, the construction of today's Adana custom fabrication began. The main manufacturing area of the shop was finished in 2005. They started off by making hard feeders for a company south from Winnipeg in 1996 all the way to 2006. In 2006, wood stoves and crop dividers became part of the business. At one point they made huge oil tanks, but the production was discontinued because it was too dangerous and the ceiling was too low. The brick and shear they used at the time was borrowed from New Deal Colony from 1996 to 2006 to bend and cut flashing. Then in 2005 they bought their own brick and the old brick and shear were sent back to New Deal Colony. Around 2009 they also purchased a small brick. Both bricks were finally upgraded in 2018. In 2007, they invested in powder coating, including sandblasting and a wash bay. Clever Walner became the first manager of powder coating. Powder coaters have to wear special astronaut-like suits while they paint the parts because of all the chemicals and, of course, the messiness of the coloring. In 2008, Joseph Wallner, 
the manager of the shop at the time, drew the first layout of a self-dumping hopper. Since then, Odena Fabrication has been producing their own powder-coated hoppers. Around the same time, fencing also became part of the business. The bright neon orange fencing surrounds many construction sites in nearby towns and cities. In 2016, Jackie Stahl was appointed the new manager of OC Fair. On April 16, 2010 is when we got our very first laser, and in the following May is when it cut its first parts. It was an FS3015-2006 Hank Wang. They invested in the laser to cut out our own parts and hopefully get more custom orders. In 2015, OC Fab replaced the laser with a bigger and quicker L57-5040 Trump laser. It was equipped with a lift master to load and unload processing machines. Some workers at the laser had daily night shifts, so the colony decided to buy another laser, and so the new member of the laser family arrived in 2018. It was an FS3015 Falcon Hank Wang laser. To this day, OC Fab still continues to make fancy hoppers and custom orders from various agriculture companies, with the help of hard workers and employees from the colony. 